This is a graceful watchman, and it's time to talk about this caravan. So here's a popular post that's been going around Facebook. I'm sure most of you have seen it. Pretty much just talking about how how did these Central Americans have enough, you know, to buy a backpack, arrange for 12,000 meals a day for two months, get money for travel expenses, have drinking water for 4,000 people every day, the directions, have extra clothes and sanitary item, medical care, prepare for rainy days, um, all this sort of stuff. So it brings up a very, very good question. You know, this person hasn't put it together yet, but they're definitely, whoever posted this, I think, because they're definitely starting to make some thought processes go on in some people's minds, you know? Um, so... It's true. Let's try and answer that question. Who is behind it? Who organized all this? How can they, you know, how how is this being organized? And how is this possible? Well, maybe, maybe it's climate change like the mainstream media wants to believe on this Guardian, the Guardian article. Maybe it's climate change. Climate change is driving these thousands of people across the border or maybe it's an age old secret society that has tremendous power over the world maybe it's the Jesuits let's go with the Jesuit route because the climate change route doesn't really seem likely just you know, common sense. So, let's go the Jesuit route. Migrants are not criminals, sums up the message of the Jesuit Migration Network of Central America and the and other Catholic partners in Central America whom issued statements today regarding the caravan of at least 1,500 people who left San Pedro Sula, Honduras seeking refuge from violence and economic poverty in their home country with an end goal of seeking asylum in the United States. And you can read through the article if you want, but I wanted to point one more part of the article. Here we go, right here. The Jesuit Migration Network of Central America is part of a larger network that serves all of Latin America and the Caribbean, seeking to provide effective, coordinated, and comprehensive assistance to migrants, displaced persons, and refugees from very diverse areas, pastoral, educational, social, research, in the United States. Participation comes from Jesuit universities, high schools, parishes, and social ministries. So what we got from all that I read so far through this whole video is that there's this migrant caravan of thousands of people. There must be some kind of organization, some kind of some kind of force behind it, some kind of money behind it, right? And here we got from this article right here on screen that there's this organization led by Jesuits called the Jesuit Migration Network of Central America. Right? And they will help migrants out on both th sides of the border, as we can see right here. So they have infrastructure, universities, high schools. They're in government, things like that on both sides of this migrant caravan, on both sides of the border, in all of these countries, right? Let's continue. So, if you follow this link right here, it brings you to their main website. I Google translated it for you guys. Now let's read. Jesuit Network with Migrants. The Jesuit, this is the About Us, About Us, the Jesuit with migrants from Latin America and the Caribbean seeks to provide effective, 
coordinated, right there, coordinated, and comprehensive assistance to migrants, displaced persons, and refugees from very diverse areas. Wow. Very telling, isn't it? So we have this Jesuit network that's propping up this caravan and bringing them over, over to the United States. Let's continue. So I pulled up this article here. It's Jesuits issue open letter denouncing grave threats against Honduran, Honduran priests. This is the priest they're talking about right here, Father Moreno. He's at a protest. All right. So pretty much what this article is about is um, this Jesuit priest, which I'll get into in a second. He has been uh, accused of being part of the drug cartels. Um, and some other stuff, and the, pretty much the Jesuits issue, issued a letter denouncing that, like, hey, he's not a drug, he's not in the drug, drug cartel, he's part of us, stop giving him threats. That's pretty much what the article's about. Um, so, if we read here, right here, an anonymous wire has been circulating on social media accusing Father Moreno and other regional leaders of having ties to criminal organizations and drug cartels and of inciting violence and destruction among Hondurans. Wow. So not only are these Jesuits, Father Moreno, he's a Jesuit, not only are they convincing the people to leave their countries to go to another country, Not only that, and they're not only funding these people to do it, and convincing them to do it, and giving them the funds and organizations, and collaboration to do it, an organization. They're also in bed with the very drug cartels and criminal organizations that are forcing these people out of their homes to begin with. Don't you see how messed up that is? They're on both sides of this issue. Just like in the United States, how they're on both sides of the issue. Same thing. They're on all four sides of this issue, if you want to put it that way. Republicans and Democrats, cartels, and caravan. All run by the same people. Father, Mer let's continue. Let's see how more revealing this article gets. Let's see what more information we can get. Father Moreno is the director of Radio Progressa, a Jesuit-run radio station featured in the America documentary La Voz del Pueblo and the Reflection Investigation Communication Team, a Jesuit Social Action and Analysis Center. So this guy's really in bed with Jesuits. And now he's being accused of being part of the cartels? Wow. So let's see what this thing is right here. Uh, it says he is the director of Radio Progressa. Father Marino is the director of Radio Progressa right there, right? So let's go. Uh, this is their main website right here. Wait, no, that's not what I want. This is their main website right here. If I just click the link, remember this was about us. I read from this just a second ago. Now, pretty much what's this saying is... It's pretty much saying that the Central in Central America, the Jesuit network of migrants is formed and then here's pretty much it's pretty much here specifically it is made up of these institutions so we know that okay this jesuit network this is the network these are the you know, little points on the network right these are the people they network with so in Gua in honduras remember the caravan came from honduras all right remember that and there's this father moreno guy that we just read about that's in bed with the cartels and he's the director of this 
radio station called Radio Progressa. All right, keep let's stay on track now. And Honduras, it says and Radio Progressa, right here, right here, and Reflection Research and Communication Team. And we read about that too. He's a part of the. He's a part of both of them, right? He's the director of Radio Progressa. And the Reflection, Investigation, and Communication Team. Eric. Wow. So, we see on this, this Jesuit caravan, this Jesuit network to help migrants, right? Specifically, let's just say the caravan, because we know that's pro they're probably involved in that too, right? And they might not outright say it, but here we see them defending the caravan right here, right? Migrants are not criminals. Jesuit network responding to the caravan. So they're supporting it. And we know that they support migrants. So clearly they probably have something to do with this, right? This is common sense. Well, we have this guy. Who's playing both sides of the spectrum. And that's what you people need to understand. Is all sides of this are being controlled. Even Donald Trump, he's controlled. It's all just a ploy. What is the exact agenda? What exactly do they want to accomplish from all this? Well, that's a whole other video for discussion. But I can tell you what. Anything the mainstream media is telling you about this caravan, no matter if they're Fox News or CNN or NBC, are all lying. All these people on Facebook and YouTube, they're either lying where they're being deceived themselves. Stay awake with your eyes open. There is deception everywhere today, more so than there ever has been. The whole thing about Trump is just to think that somebody is on your side, so you stop fighting. That's literally the main thing about Trump. There's other agendas involved with this, but that's just one of them. Look at the information I provided here. Take it seriously. And stop being deceived. Do all the research before making an assumption. Based on my research, I would say that this Jesuit, this caravan is Jesuit controlled. No doubt about that. And I forgot to pull it up. Maybe I can find it real quick here. But there was young jesuits young jesuits caravan travel with there was young jesuits who traveled in a jesuit caravan or a, a previous caravan it was back in 2012 here we go this by the same thing american magazine right here so this magazine i'm not saying it's a good magazine i'm saying like they're probably jesuit controlled a Jesuit review, yep. America, the Jesuit review. Yeah, that's what I thought. But they, they, they give you your, their own information out here. So here's what I wanted to say. A dangerous journey. Young Jesuits travel with migrants from Honduras to Arizona. So now they're directly leading these migrants. This was back in 2012. So history repeats itself, doesn't it? History repeats itself.